In today's video, we're going to be going over some more Helldivers 2, and this time we're going to be taking a look at some weapons you should definitely know about, because since the last patch update, things have taken quite a big change. There's been a whole bunch of nerfs, a whole bunch of adjustments, so I've been jumping into the fray, trying out loads of different weapons to see exactly how they play now. Now the reason for this video, if you didn't know, the breaker has taken quite a big hit now, as well as its recoil going through the roof, its capacity has gone down to just 13 bullets in a mag. Now don't get me wrong, the breaker is still an absolutely amazing weapon to use and is still top tier, but I find it just not as good or as fun to play with as previously it was. You're also going to be hearing this a lot more than you usually would have. Because you're going to be reloading very, very often with it. So I'm going to bring you some choices that I think you should chuck in your primary slot that I feel is just better overall than the breaker is nowadays. Now, after a whole bunch of testing, I found that quite a few weapons just didn't seem to cut it, especially at those top tier difficulties. And there was definitely two that stood out from me and personally seemed to be better than the rest. This one is a premium choice. You will have to pay super credits for it, whether you've purchased them or saved them up through farming, but it's definitely a worthy primary option. And that's going to be the incendiary version of the breaker the sg 225 ie this shotgun is absolutely amazing and whilst it doesn't have the raw devastation of the breaker because its damage is just over halfway of the last one it does have a much better capacity its recoil is i believe what the breaker was previously and of course it has the opportunity to set enemies ablaze this one is a light armor penetrating one so don't go for any crazy crazy tough targets you're not going to be able to take out tanks brutes or chargers unless you've made them vulnerable or you're able to hit them in their weak points but i found this just an absolutely awesome weapon to use often when i was using my previous breaker i found that i'd be spamming it and sometimes i'd use bullets when i've probably already taken the enemy out or just completely sprayed and prayed and went through mags left right and center with this one that ammo can't last a lot longer now as i've said it doesn't hit quite as hard as the breaker because this one is more of a burst fire weapon rather than rapid fire but i found most times this works in your favor because you're going to have more ammo lasting you longer during those missions i found this was able to take out pretty much everything that i was able to previously with a slightly more tactical approach not spraying and praying quite as much but still able to tap that trigger if i did need something taken down fast the only thing i would say currently i think fire damage needs quite a big buff not to the actual fire damage, but damage over time effects in general. If they put that on, this will be just an absolutely god tier gun if you're wanting something out of that premium choice. Now obviously not everyone's going to want a choice from the premium pick, so we're going to be going for our standard choices, and this one is ridiculously good for just how early you get in the game. And that's going to be another shotgun, the SGA Punisher. For just how early on you can get this, it's going to do an awful bunch of damage. Its damage, I believe, is the highest single damage per bullet of the primary weapons at 405. Has a capacity of 16, nice recoil of 120, and its fire rate is of 80. The fire rate is very low. Think of this very much as a one tap. You want to do some damage, move on to the next enemy. This is going to take out your smaller enemies in one hit straight away. And anything else, I found that you're going to be able to get some great accuracy of this, even at medium range. So aiming for those weak spots works out absolutely ideal. This is not going to be anywhere near as much of the spray and pray effect that you had going on with items such as the breaker. Instead, this is going to be a more calculated, wanting to take enemies out approach by picking the right targets and hitting them in the right weak points. A great thing about this, I found it does so much damage, you don't have to worry about the smaller ads. The only time you do have to get a bit nervous is if you're being overwhelmed by swarms. And instead, I'd say rely on some kind of a stratagem to clear them out, such as a cluster strike or an airstrike. Another great thing about Punisher that I didn't realise when I've been using it, it actually staggers the targets if you're hitting them in their weak points. As you can see here, these automatons are coming towards me and whenever I'm hitting them in their weak point, they're getting staggered over and over again, often not even being able to make their way towards me. If I was being completely overwhelmed and there's loads of them, then I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. As long as there's only one, two or three of them, this weapon, the Punisher, keeps them at bay very nicely and is an absolute force to be reckoned with. Overall, these two are my top picks currently as I think they're absolutely amazing. And personally, after the update, I found the breaker to be a little bit on the annoying side. So I definitely want something to swap too. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you think there's anything I've missed off, if there's any amazing weapons that you feel do the job a little bit better than these. But as always, hopefully you've enjoyed the content. For all things gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.